Stealth is the tallest and fastest roller coaster at Thorpe Park, and I just wanted to say that now because I'm not going to be able to say that next year, and that is just super exciting. The ride opened in 2006. It stands 205 feet in the air, top speed 80 miles per hour. It's an Intamin hydraulic launch coaster. Super quick cycle. You go up, you go down, you come back. But it's a fun ride. You could definitely make an argument for it being the strongest roller coaster at Thorpe Park just because what it does is so good. Yeah, those other rides are gonna feel more complete, but this is Thorpe Park's icon. This is that ride that everyone's gonna wanna run to and do immediately. And if you catch it on a day when it's got a short line, you're gonna wanna do it over and over again. I've ridden Stealth on two different occasions, once in 2018 and then a couple times in 2023. I'd done other similar hydraulic launch coasters at the time. Stealth came at a point in Intamin's era where they were adding like a bunch of these all across the world. From 2005 to 2007, they were going nuts with these things. You had like Stealth at Thor Park, Storm Runner, Hershey, Superman at Warner Brothers, Rita and Desert Race at Alton Towers and Haida Park, Speed Monster, Tucsonfried, King to Ka, Great Adventure. Hydraulic launch coasters were in. And the irony is now they feel a lot harder to come by. Intamin just doesn't make them like they used to. So whenever you do come across a ride like this, you really appreciate it. So let's walk through this ride experience. First, when you're walking up to Stealth, you're gonna notice that beautiful white top hat and a different shade for the bottom half of the track. Everything above the tree line is white to blend in with the constant gray skies that you get in the UK. So that's why you have that really cool color transition and it's a much darker color closer to the ground. But I feel like it, it kind of works. It's like, okay, this is a speedway and you're racing down the track. And then once you hit the white, that's when you're like up in the sky. I don't know. It's kind of fun. I'm not going to pretend like Stealth has great theming. This is probably one of the lightest themed attractions at Thorpe Park. It's very loose, especially when you stand next to like Saw or the Swarm. Stealth is set up like you're entering the Amity Speedway. You enter through a giant tire. Your train is your race car. When you're doing your pre-launch, there's a bunch of smoke coming up from underneath the back of the train. So I really like the pre-launch that they have set up. Something they do here that you don't get on a lot of other hydraulic launch coasters is stealth kind of moves you back and forth. It's ever so slightly. It's like, oh, when are you going to take off? When are you going to go? But every time you do have a countdown, it's three, two, one, scream, go, go, go. So you always know when you're about to launch. On occasion, though, if you ask, they will do a blind launch for you. That's when it just takes off without notice, which I mean is cool for stealth. But the irony is that most hydraulic launch coasters are like that. It just goes. It's only rides like Storm Runner and Accelerator when you know you're about to take off. Others, like King Ka, just suddenly start building up speed. But one thing I like about Stealth is that you just take off straight from the station so everyone who's waiting in line watches that train go. It's a great way to get you excited. I love sitting in that seat knowing that you're just about to hit 80 miles per hour. In a really short amount of time too, it's 1.9 seconds from start to finish. That's very impressive. It's got a lot of punch to it. I absolutely love that sensation, but honestly, the anticipation is like just as good. That's like part of the ride, if you ask me. It's a relatively short launch track. In total, Stealth is only 1,312 feet long. So it's not like you have a ton to work with here. You rise straight up in the air and then rotate to your right. So now you're at the peak of your top hat. You only have a couple seconds to take in your view. You can see like Colossus and Saw off in the distance. And then you have a 90 degree drop, twists you to the left as you're doing it. So it's not a spiral like Topville Dragster or King Nika. It's more so like Accelerator at knots, except this one's facing the opposite direction. I'd recommend sitting in the back if you want the best experience on that drop. I really like how you get pulled over. Although if you have the time, try out the front too, because that front row launch is just so cool. That's a great sensation. But then immediately after that drop, there's an airtime hill. So it's more similar to King Nika than Topville Dragster. This airtime hill does send you up out of your seat on the climb up and then as you break as you're on the decline it is a really really brief experience but it's fun it works really well at this park in my opinion you ride it for the launch everything else is the bonus it's very different from every other ride in the uk the only thing you can really compare it to is really rita and that's like below the tree line so it's always a good time to get on a nice tall attraction like this so for its final score i'm giving stealth an 8 out of 10 i really like what it has obviously the biggest complaint here is that it's short the other main down size it does have over the shoulder restraints which is obviously a downgrade from a ride like accelerator or top fill dragster they have lap bars you just feel a lot more exposed a lot more free but it's not too bad it is interesting that they kept that original over the shoulder design and never upgraded to Intamin's soft shell restraints. We saw Hershey Park make the switch several years ago with Storm Runner. I think that might make the experience a bit more comfortable, but the good news is that, that shoulder harness is kind of popped out away from your chest. So if you position your body right, you might not even touch the restraint at all. 
But regardless, it does make you feel that much more secure. So let me know down in the comments below if you've written stealth at Thorpe Park, if you agree with the points that I brought up, if you think there's anything I missed, and of course, stay tuned for more roller coaster reviews here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.